that, let's go across to Dr. Uh, Subhash Sarkar, Union Minister of State for Education, Government of uh, India. So thank you for joining us uh, on NDTV. I would like to start by asking you, in fact, uh, the education sector budget this year has been highest uh, with 1.12 lakh crore rupees. It has been increased by about 8%. If you could tell our viewers, where will this extra money go? What is the you know, plan and the road ahead as far as the education sector is concerned? Yes, this is the highest budget since independence in our education ministry. In spite of doing so much work in, in last year and the last few years also, in the eight years, there's so many institutions have been established. Everything, 11.7 crore household toilets, 220 crore COVID vaccination, 47.8 crore PM Chandan Bank. Sub, after doing all these things, till our country is in fifth number position, and this budget will give, will give us uh, for the higher institutions, mm -hmm. even for the internationalization of institutions, 50 institute of eminence will be prepared for artificial intelligence and robotics. This will make our India, that is a make artificial intelligence in India and mm. make artificial intelligence work for India. And the good youth number of youth people force will, will be skilled for AI and robotics. And that force will be a, our youth force for okay. to supply all over the world also. And at the same time, our, our higher education that already more than 300 universities have been set up hmm. in the last year. And that's, uh, you have come to know from our presidential speech. And with this also, with this amount of fund, higher institutions and the school education, both okay. will be benefited. Even in the midday meal, the fund has been increased. And in IIT, NIT, and triple IT, Everywhere the fund has become increased. But and you will be happy to know yes. that 157 nursing college is being developed by okay. this. And at the same time, the District Educa Institute of Educational Training that was, was having no work previously. And that has been forced by that has been uh, given by significant amount of money right. to work but more Dr. Sarkar, to uh, development of the education and the also a lot of, of young teachers. people uh, have been talking about the fact that uh, yes, yes of course there has been increase as far as the allocation is concerned but one concern for them of course is uh, with supplementing the infrastructure for education about uh, the you know new professors teachers across board because there has been seen a lot of vacancies as far as uh, professors and teachers are concerned even in premier institutes yes our work is being done and already it has already been started that in mission mode to recruit the teachers and you will be ha happy to know that uh, 38800 teachers will be recruited in Ekalabbo model residential school. Hmm. This is very important factor. And at the same time, many more recruitment will be and many more stipend. 47 lakh students will get stipend for their skillful training. This right. is a very important thing. And they will be skilled for placement and that will give job to the young people. I, I just want to just... And uh, at you the know, same I time... Right, sir, I just want to just uh, yes, you know, extend that please. point that you are talking about the 47 lakh youths in three years, a direct benefit transfer scheme, uh, the national yes. apprentice, uh, apprenticeship uh -huh. scheme that you are talking about. How will it be rolled out and yes. uh, how exactly, uh, you know, will people get employed after coming in under this scheme? Definitely, as because you already know there's the highest budget have been given to the railway, two lakhs. 2.40 lakh crore and even the infrastructure it is about 10 lakh crore at the same time the uh, capital infrastructure the effective capital expenditure 13.7 lakh crore has been allotted 
Right. And this huge amount of money, when it will be ex expenditure will be done, then ex huge amount of employable opportunity be, will come. Okay. And for that reason, skilled person is required. And that skilled person is also being made by this 14, 7, 47 lakh apprentice training. Okay. And they will get stipend by direct benefit transfer. Okay, uh, you know, in the end, I also yes, want to please. understand from you that the end goal, largely people see uh, getting good education, uh, the end goal, of course, is to seek better employment opportunities. In this entire budget, uh, that was something, you know, the word yes. unemployment or new employment opportunities was something that a lot of people have pointed out was missing. Yes, uh, uh, what, what is your view? How yes. will the op these employment opportunities be created and how do you think with the new allocation and with the new focus, the new education policy as well, how does that change the game for the youth as far yes. as this country is concerned yes. to get more new employment? Yes, new education policy, yes, in our new education policy, our in, in, institutes have been uh, under the academia and industry collaboration has already been done. And in our academia, there is a post of professor of practice hmm. from industry the persons are coming to the academia and from academics will go to the industry. Naturally, there all the, our students, they will be trained up for the requirement of the industry. Right. Naturally, our all prepared students, they will go, they will be eligible to work in the industry, in the agriculture and everywhere. We will train our students, not only, only reading and writing, but also with the practical training for the industry, for the agriculture okay. and all kinds of works in the society. So thank you so much. I appreciate you joining us uh, and uh, giving us a sense of how uh, the education ministry now plans to take forward this uh, budget allocation, the increase in the budget allocation for the education sector. Thank you for speaking to NDTV.